Hello, my name is Lillian Faley and I work here at the Georgia Southern Museum. Today I'll be introducing a fossil we have here on display called Turritella. The genus name Turritella comes from the Latin word turtus, meaning turreted or tower. It's more commonly known as the auger. You might be wondering what an auger is. They're a type of invertebrate. Invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone. Augers belong to a cat class of mollusks called gastropoda. Gastropods include snails and slugs, and augers are a type of sea snail. Snails have a single spiral shell into which the whole body can be withdrawn into. Turritella shells are elongated, tightly coiled, and conically shaped. Turritella and gastropods are an incredibly important group. They are very diverse, abundant, and widespread. This makes them useful for biogeography. Biogeography uses fossils to establish the relative ages of rock. They have been around for 130 million years, but not much of what we know about their life cycle comes from species that are living today. In this case, we have an example of augers that lived here in Georgia during the Eocene around 34 to 56 million years ago. At this time, most of the coastal plain was covered by the ocean. An ancient current called this Wanya current channeled warm water from the Gulf of Mexico. This was a great environment for the invertebrates like the auger because they lived in muddy sand or sand flats in mainly warm, shallow water. In this fossil, the augers are encased in lithified mud. This can also be called mudstone. Mudstone is just mud that has been compressed and hardened into rock over time. This fossil is interesting because it contains numerous external and internal molds of the fossil from the augers. You can see the conical imprints or molds of the outside of the shell, as well as the macaroni shaped molds preserving the inside of the shell. This happened when the shell was dissolved millions of years ago, leaving just the imprints behind. If you're wondering what Turritella shells look like, we also have much younger fossils on display. If you look at the fossil shells in the Paleocene case, you can see examples of a 3.5 million year old species called Turritella etonesis that were found nearby in Stilson, Georgia. When the species lived, the global climate was much cooler, drier, which caused the sea level to drop everywhere from the coast to what is now Valdosta and Statesboro would have been underwater. Living turtellines are mostly immobile filter feeders that live in soft sediments, but they can be found in a variety of depths and salinities. They're eaten by a number of different predators and can be infected with a lot of different parasites. Recent research suggests that their reproduction depends on them being abundant, which could explain why they're found in high numbers where they both live today and 